Brandy, looking at him now, you could never tell this time five years ago, Jeff Smith's left eye was partially melted. And with just weeks until July 4th, he wants others to learn from his story. Let's take a peek at this and see. And seeing is something Jeff Smith never takes for granted. I was thinking how stupid I was. <laughs> it was five years ago, nearly to the date. Jeff was lighting fireworks like these artillery shells when he says he got a little too brave. I had all of these mortar shells lined up and I was dropping the uh, shells into the tubes uh, in succession so they'd all go off. Instead of shooting up into the sky, one fell on the ground. And I knew that that would be like a live rocket uh, if it ignited. So Jeff tried to stomp it out. That's when a fireball flew into his face. And basically anchored or sealed the backside of his eyelid to the surface of his eyeball. Jeff's eyelid had melted to his eye, an injury that Nebraska medicine doctor James Gigantelli says is sadly common this time of year. I would say that the most um, tragic injuries tend to occur with artillery shells, yes. um, as, as was the case with Jeff's. This is an artillery shell. Experts say they're little cardboard casings filled with gunpowder. There's also a, a charge that's going to get it in the air. So you've got some gunpowder mixed with the charge and that'll get it in the air. All stuff you want to stay away from. For Jeff, it was a hard lesson learned. But after hours of surgery and five years of recovery. Thank you. Jeff says it's a mistake he won't make again. I uh, learned how quickly things can go south when you don't follow proper safety procedures. Now, of course, it's easy to safely enjoy fireworks. Experts say protective goggles aren't a bad idea. Certainly, Jeff would agree. But always keep a bucket of water nearby in the event of an emergency. Guys, back to you. Christina, thanks.